only on NBC 15. It wasn't the typical practice tonight for the UW rowing team. Instead of just doing their normal workouts, they rowed in honor of a young man who dreamed of one day being on their team. NBC 15's Amy Flugsoft has the story. Every one of these UW Madison students are passionate about rowing. And Connor Dawes was no different. His dream was to either row for Wisconsin or Stanford. But unfortunately, that dream was cut short when he was diagnosed with a brain tumor. Connor was diagnosed in early December of 2011, and he passed away the following April. So he had about 15, 16 months of surgery. Uh, the surgery left him quite impaired. Uh, he was paralyzed on his right side, and he also lost his short-term memory. In his honor, the two teams he dreamed of being a part of came together for a little friendly competition. The goal, to see who can row 100 kilometers the fastest. We're doing like 1K intervals, so that's about like three or four minutes per person. The two teams, separated by more than 2,000 miles, kept track of each other's progress through live streaming. And while this was for a good cause, the rowers were really getting into it. So basically the way we have it set up, there's four people on each herd. So when the guy is done with his thousand meters, he jumps off to the left, and there's two people pulling the handle, so it's still like keeping the momentum going. In addition to the athletic challenge, they're doing a fundraising competition and the money will be split between research facilities at Stanford and the UW. Right now, um, private funds that come in to support cancer research are so important. Every day, our doctors are working with patients that have incurable diseases like brain tumors, and the basic research that gets done and they translate that is so important to helping patients in the end and for the future. And while Connor wasn't physically rowing the machines, his presence could be felt. I know he would be very, very proud. In Madison, Amy Flugsopt, NBC 15 News. What a neat way to honor Connor's memory. To donate to the challenge between UW and Stanford, we have a link posted at NBC15.com that will be open through the weekend. And if you're wondering, the UW men and women outrode the Stanford teams. On Wisconsin. All right. Great cause. Well,